Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, epic battles have been raging across the forests of the Ascendancy and the deserts of Raya, inspiring three new powerful professions, the Mighty Knight, the Agile Archer, and the Pious Cleric. These are the warriors of Alpha 16. Rumors are abound in the kingdom of a new and even more unique breed of warrior. Armed with only mathematics and ingenuity. That's right, the engineer has arrived ready to defend the kingdom with traps and automated turrets. Only the most skilled blacksmiths can craft the tools of the engineer's trade. So it is only with hard work and time that one's kingdom will be graced with the most calculating of warriors. Beyond that, along with dozens of up and coming changes and improvements, Alpha 17 arrives with a dramatically improved Hearthling building system. It has improved so much, in fact, that our beloved Fort Defiance from our Alpha 15 series is now totally functioning once again. That's right, when I loaded up my old save game, lo and behold, the Hearthlings began scattering to gather the material to finish the projects that were once unfinishable. So, once again, you and I are going to prepare ourselves to embark into a foreign land with a pack of eager, wide-eyed Hearthlings. <laughs> You all know what that means, of course. Our Hearthlings need identities. That's right, our Hearthlings need some names, folks. And as always, if you wish to be a Hearthling Pioneer in my Alpha 17 series, just let me know in the comments below what name you would like to have in the game. And as always, preferential treatment will be given to people who have not been in the previous series and those who get their names in first. All right, all that being said, I say we start a brand new game of Stone Hearth. I am stoked. I haven't touched this game in months. I haven't even seen the, the knight, the cleric, and the archer in action yet. So this is going to be all new experiences for me. I debated on whether or not to continue on with Fort Defiance, but even though the Hearthlings are in fact building Defiance Manor, which was that three-tier, really awesome constructed with all sorts of weird anomalous stuff like holes in the floor and all that they are actually constructing it and I believe that they will finish it I have a hundred percent confidence that they are going to finish it they did finish building of course pineapples face in the side of the mountain even though those two things are now working when I load up the game I'm getting a whole number of air still I think there's a six total airs keep in mind when we first started Fort Defiance it was in Alpha 14 and because this is now Alpha 17 that's three away I think we're just taking too much of a chance continuing on with Fort Defiance so I say, let's start with something new. So away we go, guys. This is a story of a brave band of settlers from... Last time we did Rise Children in the Forest. What if we do, this time we'll do Ascendancy in the Desert? You know, I, I don't think we've done that before. I think we should give it a shot. It's not going to be as difficult, I don't think, to uh, get up to the higher level. See, Rise Children, they start with a few more items, or different items. They start with different items, but it's harder for them to get up to the point where where you have, like, carpenters and stuff. Whereas these guys pretty much start with carpentry. <laughs> I don't know, I think the Ascendancy is generally easier, but I think we'll do Ascendancy just because we did Rise Children last time. Ascendancy, a pr the Ascendancy, a prosperous and industrious kingdom. <laughs> Seeking new lands and adventure, they set off. Two, we are going to the desert. I have some ideas. The Desert of Palmum, a location that... Oh, here we go, our first difficult decision. So, peaceful, peaceful, of course, is a sandbox mode where you're free to build your town without worrying about invaders whatsoever. Normal, venture forth within a world fraught with danger. Your town will be subject to raiding and enemies. However, there is a new mode that was introduced in Alpha 16, <laughs> along with the three new classes called Hard. Face more difficult monsters than normal mode. I'm debating on what to do here, but I really think the right choice for us is to go hard. I, I'm, I'm going to regret this. I know I'm going to regret this, but I have some ideas on how we can defend ourselves really well, I think. But we're going to really have to focus on getting some warriors. So let's do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. A daunting place to start anew. Begin. Ah, okay. So now we have to make some hard decisions here, too, as well. Maybe I'm just going to... I'm just going to fluff it a couple times. I call it fluffing now. <laughs> Rolling, I mean. I'm going to roll it a couple times. And I just, I just, I would love two sixes. Two sixes would be nice. Actually, I wonder. So now, spirit, I think body's still, just still, body's still probably the most, body and spirit are probably the most important things for a warrior, of course, still, right? That would make the most sense. And then everybody else, I mean... Oh, a couple sixes here. Oh, this would be really good if we had some a couple guys with high body. Hope, ah, here we go. Here we go. Couple sixes. And then we don't we don't have any high. Oh, we've got some high mind guys too as well. Perfect. Actually, these guys are great. Six fours. Perfect. They'll make perfect warriors. Oh, fantastic. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think we're gonna start with the trapper's knife this time. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, I think we'll go for the trapper's knife. 
I think I think that's a way to go. We are really going to have to focus on food production this time, though, because um, if we're playing on hard, we're going to have to have lots of warriors. And if we're going to have to have lots of warriors, then we really have to think about or getting we have to try and get as many people as possible into our kingdom so that we have our other professions covered, too. It's kind of a catch 22. We can't get many warriors without having lots of other professions uh, first, but we can't get lots of other professions first until we have, you know. OK, so anyway, I think we'll go. I think if we went into this little area here, and then we still we still have access to water. Uh, well, let's roll it. Let's roll again. See, the thing is, the desert's not all that uh, <laughs> diverse in terms of you know what what's out there. So I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward for the most part. Uh, there is some taller mountains actually. That's not a bad idea too. Something really tall. If we can get at least one tall mountain in there, and then we will. I think we'll dig into the mountain. We're gonna do this dwarf style. Hey, you know that's that's how you do it. When 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 times are tough, what do you do? You do like a dwarf and you dig in. And I, maybe we'll build a a kingdom underground. Oh, brilliant! This well not underground in a mountain. This is a this will be the first time I think I've ever done this where we actually build an entire kingdom in a mountain. That would be fantastic. Of course, we'll have to set aside the top for for you know trapping and and farming and stuff. But we need to see see this height of this mountain. Okay. I'm going to re-roll a couple times, and I'll meet you back here as soon as I find something that I really like. Okay, I've been rolling for the last 20 minutes here, and I'm just not finding exactly what I want. I don't even know if it's possible. So see how this 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 one little peak is really high? I was trying to get a couple of peaks, you know, a, a, sort of a row of that together, as well as some water, a water feature nearby so that we can dig into the mountain immediately, and maybe even take take a canal of water and bring it underneath inside the mountain wouldn't that be cool and i was kind of hoping you know the higher the mountain the better but i think this is about the best i can do <laughs> i've tried so let me see we don't have a lot for trees oh no yes trees are well trees are always a problem in the in uh in the desert so i don't you know we're not going to do much better than that but uh, there's going to be lots of minerals, lots and lots and lots of minerals. So whatever we can't make with wood, we are going to make with 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 iron and stone and and bunnies because <laughs> there's bunnies. <laughs> OK, I think this is good enough. Let's go right here. Settle here. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Yay. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow. OK. Wow. It's been a long time since we played the desert. Oh, look at that. That looks really cool. Look at that. I don't know. It looks like it looks different than it did before. Maybe not. I don't know. See, remember how I used to say it used to look a little blurry when you're looking at the mountains at a certain angle? See, it looks kind of blurry again. Isn't that weird? That is super weird. But anyway, so we've got, uh, there's our water feature. Look, the, all of these, they're almost like little square plateaus. Crazy weird. That's cool. We could use any one of these, but I think we're going to go for the really high mountain because we could do a multi-level civilization inside the mountain. Maybe even turn this into one big pyramid. <gasps> Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, that would be so cool. I'm super excited. Okay, so let's, we're going to start right here. Now, we've got, we've got a few, uh, uh, these are, these are berries, right? I, I think we can use those for food. That's a good starting spot. And we've got these we can use. I, I don't remember. I don't remember ex exactly. Is there, uh, is there flowers? I don't remember. Does Raya, does the desert have flowers? I'm sure the desert has flowers. Maybe, maybe these cactus, I'm not sure if the cactuses have flowers or fruit. They might actually have no, here's the flowers. Right, right, right. So these ones have the flowers and these ones have the fruit. Okay, so we're starting off with, with a few fruit plants, I believe. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Let's go. We're going to place right here. Dun, dun, dun. Um, we are going to call this place. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't really thought about this. Um, let's see. We're going to take, ah, uh, we're going to take a three-pronged approach to this. So we're going to dig then we're going to fortify, and then we're going to defend. So three-pronged approach, and when I think of three prongs, I think of forks. So let's do fork, fork, hold on, not frock. Fork, fork spire, fork spire, fork spire. There we go, that's good, uh, I think. I don't know, fork spire, yeah, that's great. All right, so we're going to pause it for a moment too and try to get ourselves oriented here. Wow, it has been a long time since I played this game. It is so much fun. <laughs> I'm super excited. All right, let's see. Now we have, uh, I didn't really take a close look at all of our people, but um, I think we've got a pretty good mix. And we're Ascendancy, so we are starting off with the beloved 
carpenter saw, which is wonderful, although we don't have a lot of wood nearby. So I think that'll be our first priority, is to gather up as much wood as we can um, before it starts getting heated, because we are playing on hard, and also at the same time, dig into the mountain and get a door in there as quickly as possible. I think we can build a wooden one. I don't know if the monsters can knock down doors yet. I have no idea. Maybe they can. This might be a folly. I don't know. We may die very, very quickly. <laughs> I don't know. But in the first place, first thing we need to do is get down our storage area. So let's get down our stockpile. I think we'll just put our stockpile like... Actually, right here. We'll put a door right here and we'll dig in right here. That'll look really, really cool. So we're going to put our stockpile like right beside this for now. And it's it, it can take everything for now. That's fine. Uh, yeah, it, you can take absolutely everything. And now, what are these? Hold on. Un unclick. Unclick for a second. What do these give us? A uh, source of fiber, right? And these give us prickly pears. So those give us, of course, food. So we're going to gather those. I don't, I don't know. We're going to have to build a ladder to get up here. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Because we're going to move these all into a row here. We're going to do that right now. <laughs> I wonder if these will continue to grow underground. I don't see why not. So we could probably bring these prickly pears. I can't say that really fast. Prickly pears. Prickly pears. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna make a mistake if you say that really fast. And uh, I, I, want, I bet we can bring those underground too as well. I don't think we need too much space. I think actually, hold on. Let's. Uh, hmm. I think I think they need to be rotated so that they're facing that way yeah if we're gonna put them in a row like that they have to be facing like that yeah I think that that'll work great and then we're gonna do this one so I'd like to have you know a fair amount of these because foods always challenging with with the desert at least at the beginning actually no because you start off with the carpenter so you can have a hoe right away and we also have the the uh, tanning the tanning knife too as well which is really really good we can actually start getting that but we got to be careful you know running around gathering stuff here might be more dangerous because we're playing on hard i have no idea what does this give us an impress a large impressive specimen <laughs> I, I assume that's wood okay so we're gonna gather some of this wood too as well uh let's it's been a while okay here we go we're gonna harvest this we're gonna harvest uh the fiber i don't care so much about i am gonna grab as much of these trees as i can which means i don't even know if we can right away like we need wood to get wood because, okay, we'll be able to get some wood from that to get enough for a ladder. Oh, worry, we can get some wood from these guys. It's too bad the trees don't actually grow in this game. Like, so, I mean, they do. You can grow your own trees, but the natural, the trees that are naturally occurring don't, don't actually do anything. So they just, they stay at status quo. They don't change. It would be really cool if you could grow your own trees, like actually grow your own trees. Like, I mean, yeah, you know, like this size of tree, maybe you can, I don't know. Can you grow, what is, this is a specific name for this type of tree? Like, uh, and maybe for the ascendancy, we can never grow that kind of tree. Maybe we can only grow like pine trees or something. I don't remember, It's it's been so long since I played this game. All right, so we'll grab this, we'll grab these. We might have to build ladders to get up here, but you know, uh, that's that's important. Oh, we've got, oh, there's silkweed over here too. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, you might as well grab that too as well. Grab as much as we can while we're here. Let's also grab any flowers, so let's, <laughs> uh, because, you know, we're going to need to heal our guys um, quite often, probably. And so getting all of these flowers right away is important. And I think there's only one kind of flower in the desert. I think there was one. I don't know. Is there one more than one kind of flower in, in the Ascendants, like in the forest too as well? I don't remember. <laughs> That's how long it's been, guys. I love this. It's like playing a brand new game again. You know, when you put something down, and you don't touch it for a while, and then you come back to it. It's like, oh, remember this? This is great. <laughs> and you know what? I actually left Stoneheart. The last, the last series we played was super fun. I enjoyed every minute of it. And we made it further than we ever did with Stoneheart. Just because, you know, they've in, they improved the building system so much and the way and the pathing and all that. It was so much better that we were able to continue on, continue on quite a bit further. However, we did eventually, <laughs> I did eventually build something so erratically weird that the, the, uh, the system couldn't handle it. However, now... Now they've solved a lot of those problems. I wonder if I wonder if we're even gonna be. We may we may able to just we may be able to just continue on for for a very 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 long time. I don't even know. Just imagine the kingdom that we could build. So you know if all ooh, whoops 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 yeah. So every once in a while the the zooming does weird things. So yeah, uh, we'll just do another row here. I think the flowers the flowers are gonna be so important. Oh maybe we shouldn't put that one there. That's okay. That's okay. It doesn't matter for now. Uh, but we are going to need a lot of those. And maybe uh, maybe we should grab those, some of those silkweeds too as well. Oh, look, more prickly pears. I know this is a little slow and tedious right now, but you know, sometimes you got to start off with these things slow and tedious sometimes. Uh, if you're going to do things right, you know, spend the time to get everything in place. Then once everything's in place, and like I said, we'll probably be moving these again, but next time we'll fast forward. I just feel like talking to you guys right now. And we pro Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong button. Ah, see, I... 
I really should change those keys if I can change those keys a rotate key because right now it's set as period and my microphone is right in front of my keyboard and that is uh, that can be a little challenging sometimes to hit the period key especially in a rush <laughs> um, the E is E or R would be uh, more convenient and unfortunately R is actually set as the town defense mode <laughs> and so yeah I do that all the time oh I love this game so good okay so the, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to harvest him with those flowers in the way. I don't know. So I think that's enough to get him started. Let's go. Let's go. And then while they're going, we will start uh, We'll start setting up the dig here. So let's do that too as well. Oh, man. I love this game so much. I love it so much. Okay, so we're going to start digging into the wall carefully. Let's plan this out very carefully. So four on either side. Oh, perfect. Let's actually go down. We're going to slice slice down to the level that we want. Oh, it automatically was there. Great. Okay, so... Maybe we should pause this too, because I don't want them to get ahead of me. So let's dig in. We're going to go, and this is, like I said, this is going to be our kingdom. So we want hallways leading to different areas. Now, we could theoretically get attacked from inside the mountain, because creatures can spawn inside. So we don't want to go out too far. I think if we go out too far, then we take the chance of creatures spawning inside of our underground areas. So in other words, when you dig in really, really far, they will start to spawn in these you know, just randomly underground. So we don't want that to happen, at least not for a while. So we're going to start off, we're going to have a main, main sleeping area. So we'll, we'll do, ah, uh, yeah, I think we'll do three main areas to start off with. We're going to do a sort of a meeting area where everybody eats and stuff. So that's going to be right in the center and it might have to be bigger. I, I think it'll probably have to be bigger. This is where we're, I, I would probably start with yeah, we'll probably put our starting uh, trades in here too as well, as well as maybe our first stockpile in here as well. And then we're going to have a sleeping area. And this looks like a nice big area to do that. So we're going to make this a nice big sleeping area because eventually we may have, you know, 20 hearthlings. We may have 50 hearthlings. I don't even know yet. So we want it to be a fairly big area. And then our third starting area, I think, I think that's it. I think we'll start with that. Mm, I don't know. Maybe we should do a separate trade area to start with. So very simple at the beginning. So we've got our sort of main hall where we're going to eat and we're going to converse. We're going to maybe do some storage in here because uh, it's closest to the door. And then we're going to do our sleeping area, which is going to be fairly big. We're going to have lots of beds. And apparently you can actually assign beds too now. And then we've got kind of our trade area where, where we're going to build stuff and manufacture stuff. And uh, we're going to put doors in between uh, uh, like to access every one of these different rooms too as well. So even if they get past the first door, then they have to get through the next door and stuff. I, I mean, Eventually, we're going to get the engineer, which means we're going to have traps and stuff, too, which is very, very exciting. Oh, I'm so excited about the traps. Now, these seem like actually awfully big rooms. Now, eventually, we're going to build stairs going up, and we're going to have multiple levels in this mountain. And we can actually go up one, two, three, four, five, six, six floors. And then we can actually go up to the next one to seven over here, eight, nine, ten. 11 floors and then you know we could have like the penthouse suite up here <laughs> looks like there's some copper or something in there too penthouse sweep and the on the top we can maybe even do some farms on the top i don't know if it'll let me do that i know they're currently working on uh working on farming in terms of uh you know having soil soil has to be you have to grow in soil it makes sense right and growing on top of a mountain or underground won't will no longer be an option i think you can still grow grow underground right now as of making this video but i think that's that is going to change very very soon all right guys just gather away yay dig 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 Awesome. We should probably take a look at our people, but I don't want to get too ahead of our with our people until we get some names. I guess it doesn't matter. We can, uh, let's see. So we've got Elia, who's a 364, who's probably going to be a warrior, earmarked for a warrior. A 443, good for a farmer or something. Then we've got a 435, high spirit, maybe good for a healer, right? Um, and yeah, so the, they start off as a... I don't even remember all the professions. So yeah, the herbalist, and then they become a cleric. And the cleric is actually a combat profession. So yeah, they can hit people with a book. <laughs> I'm assuming that eventually we can have specific weapons just for the cleric, or, or maybe they can use a mace or something, but I've seen them actually use a, a book. I was playing with my Fort Defiance and I actually made a cleric and they were hitting the enemies with their book. It was pretty cool. So we've got Luna Adion, who is a 256, which will also make a good warrior too, if necessary, or a good trapper. Good, good trapper, actually. 5'6", really good. And then we've got 5'2", 3 will be a good carpenter or something. And then we've got 
Uh, Grizzled Traveler. Oh, let's get this let's get this party started. Welcome to the area, folks. Goodness. <laughs> you people look starved. Here's something to help. One basket of tur turnips, berries, and rabbit jerky. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's actually very, very handy because uh act and actually but there's no time like the present. We can actually get our trapper going right now because um we we're gonna need more food very, very quickly. So why don't you change jobs into being a trapper? There we go, promotion to Trapper. Who is that anyway? Not that it matters, because your name's gonna change. Luna, you are now our first profession, official profession. You're gonna go do, get that started right now. We can also start getting our, and we can get our trapping grounds ready. And right now, we're gonna be trapping out here, of course. But as time goes on, we're gonna try, we're gonna build a stairs all the way up to the top of this mountain and see if we can trap on the top of the mountain, right? Without having to go, you know, outside where it's dangerous because we don't want to go outside where it's dangerous because <laughs> bad guys are out here there's going to be lots of bad guys out here actually so get that going get that going just a couple big areas for her to uh to catch some critters there we go good good show good show and then what else can we get started right away and we could probably build some fencing right away and a door so we need a carpenter right away i think that's really really important so who do we got that's a good candidate for a carpenter oh stefan or uh, Mard? Mard. Let's do Mard as a carpenter. Uh, five, two, three. Yeah, I think that'd be okay. Mard, you are going to be a carpenter. More info. Hold on, no. Change jobs. <laughs> you, sir, are going to be our carpenter. And maybe we can get you working on some doors or some fencing. So if we did some fencing all the way across here right away, I think that'd be a really good idea. So let's get your workshop built as soon as you're ready to go. There you are! <laughs> ah, excellent. Oh, so much fun. All right, crafters, let's get you working on your workbench. First off, craft, craft away. That shouldn't take very long. It'd be pretty quick. There he goes. Build, build, build. <laughs> and then we can get that placed immediately. Put that down. Put it down. Put it down. Drop it. <laughs> and then crafting bench. We're going to put that uh, just outside here for now. Ah, I guess guess right beside the, the stockpile for now is probably a, the best place. Good a place as any. And then we're going to get you working on... Yeah, we never did build the market stalls, too. I'm not quite sure how those work. I'm pretty excited to give those a shot. So merchants, merchants can visit this stall to buy and sell goods. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Anyway, so let's get you working on fences. That's top priority. Uh, can we not build fences? Oh, we can't right away. We need oh, we need carpenter level one. All right, so what are we going to build first? Uh, wooden doors? No, no, no. Uh, maybe a couple crates? We could do that. Oh, man. Look at the bows and everything here. I'm going to just pause it briefly. I don't want to waste too much time, you know, sitting here and oogling all the new stuff. So the archer's bow, which I haven't played with. And then, is that it? Is that the only weapon he can build? Okay, but yeah, so we need to build just a few odds and ends. I guess, suppose, yeah, get him to build some beds right away. That's probably the best idea. So we start off with seven hearthlings and we're aiming, you know, we'll, we'll just start with a, an easy 10 beds. And we're going to have a place to put those immediately. So that's super fun. All right, so 10 beds, build those right away. And by that time, you should be level, carpenter level one. Ah, oh, perfect. That'll work great. All right, so way you go. Do that stuff. Do do what do everything I just said. And our trapper is up and running. Look, we've already caught some animals. Fantastic. <laughs> and we're, all our beds are gonna be in here. I think that was our plan. Let's just double check that. Yes, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna run out of storage very very quickly, actually. But we're gonna move our storage almost immediately to inside. And uh, before I go any further, let's just take a look. I want to see when can we actually build the cave door. Or can we build a cave door with this one? Yeah, the wooden tunnel door. Useful for blocking off tunnels. So this we can build at level one too as well. So the, as soon as he's done those beds, he'll probably be ready to build us a cave door and some fencing. We're gonna build the fencing all the way across here, of course, with a gate. And maybe we will collect some of these tumbleweeds and stuff too. So let's maybe get those out of the way. Uh, go ahead and harvest these guys. Yeah, get those gone. Get them gone, get them gone. <laughs> I'm wondering, maybe we should do some more trapping too as well. Maybe uh, a little bit more trapping on this side too. Doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt. Perfect, excellent. Dig, dig, dig. And uh, did he already get level one? I wasn't even paying attention. Maybe, he's gonna. Be, it's gonna be pretty quick though. Won't be long before he gets his first level. Let's see, come on, Mard. Mard, oh, I guess it's gonna be a few minutes. Oh, he is level one, there we go. Yeah, he's, he's already got it, perfect. So let's go back here, excellent. And we're going to get you to build the tunnel door immediately. So that's just two pieces of wood and a whole crap ton of fencing. Let's do, let's do 25, whoop, no, no. Let's do, do 25 fencing for now. And we're gonna do three gates. Now, the last time we played, we didn't do gates and fencing. 
we did well we did gates but we just we we made our own walls and they they were able to walk in between the wall and the and the and the gate so bad guys were able to just you know come in you know attack us <laughs> okay so they're unable to access some of these other uh these other trees and stuff so we're gonna have to build some of course ladders so they can get at them uh, i don't know the most efficient place ah here's an efficient place to build a ladder right there so that way they can go all the way up to the top and grab those ones and then we'll have to build another ladder over here so they can go all the way up to the top over there and then they're going to need another ladder right here to get up here to get these prickly pears excellent 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 very very nice and i think that's i think that's all we need for that right now we could probably go after you know i just want to get as much of this wood as i can at the beginning just because well wood's going to become a scarcity very very quickly we're going to make use of our carpenter long enough to build some fencing and stuff and those beds and a few other odds and ends and then we're hopefully going to be moving on to our stonemason because this i mean stonemason's king and well actually with raya's children the the uh what do you call it the uh Ah, the potter. The potter is king. <laughs> um, let's harvest this sucker too as well. I think that's just wood. Might as well harvest that. And oh, no, 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 that is not harvest button. Uh, delete, remove, remove. Sometimes I hit the wrong button. It happens all the time. For those of you that are new here, I hit the wrong button all the time. <laughs> Come on, click. I am clicking. I'm clicking. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't respond to me. I, you have to talk nice to, nice to it. You have to be, you know, hey, Stonehearth, how's it going, man? How's it going? You have to be really nice to Stonehearth in order for it to do what you want. Okay, so they're building those ladders. Perfect. Ladders are up, so they're going to go grab that stuff, too, as well. And we have we have some, we have our beds, so let's get those down immediately. Let's go back down to the, I think it's 40, 44 meters is, is our first level. So there we go. We can get some of those beds down immediately. Yes, and we can assign these now, which is really great. So this is going to be a little bit of a bunkhouse to start out. So I think, ah, oh, see, I want to, okay, we can always move the beds later. I, I guess, you know, I, I'm a little, I'm a little, you know, I'm, I'm a very specific about how I think, like things placed, but I, we just need to get these in right now. So we're going to play the, place them one apart and we're going to do it. We're going to do it like institutional style. So the beds are going to be facing each other. <laughs> like this was a big homeless shelter or something. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing to say, but like it's a big, you know, a big shelter or 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 an orphanage, like like a movie orphanage. So that's that's our ten beds. Uh, kind of an odd number. We should do two more just so it matches, but whatever. That's fine. We're it's. I'm gonna move them as soon as they've got this all dig out, dug out anyway. And as soon as they've got this dug out, we're gonna put. Uh, we're gonna put all our storage in there too as well. And how you doing? Are you, let's just take a look at our construction here. So we still, yeah, it's gonna take a while before he gets it, all of that done. Oh, look, we've got, oh, we've already got coarse fiber too as well. What could we build? Well, I, you know what you need, you have to sort of, you almost have to have all classes in the end anyway. Now we should probably, do we have, we don't have a sword yet. So we also need to get a sword going right away. I don't think we start with a sword, do we? Uh, there's a quick way for us to check that. Um, who is going to be our warrior? So Elia is, is going to be a warrior. So she cannot because we need a practice sword. So let's get two practice swords ready to go so that that is uh, just in case because we are playing on hard. Who knows what could happen, right? So let's get that going as well. So two practice swords. Um, let's get three practice swords ready to go because ultimately we're going to have at least three people almost right away. Uh, we're going to have... Maybe even four, you know, I don't know. Is it, I don't think the footman is much different from the knight, except he's not as powerful. So I think we're probably going to have three to start off with right, right, right away. The archer, the cleric, and the mighty knight. <laughs> uh, look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, I love you, hearthlings. Oh, I love, I love this game so much. I'm sorry I can't help but, uh, you know, sit here and tell you guys how much I love it. Because, I mean, I just, I really, really do. Okay, we could probably grab all of this stuff here that's ready to be harvested. I don't know if they can harvest it actually. They we might have to move the flowers and stuff. No, it looks like they're they're working in between them. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Awesome. And we could probably get um can we even can we do a Let's go here. We may have to get a healer going right away too as well. Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah, there's no point in doing three swords except and well, I think we'll have to at least two knights and one archer, but the cleric actually comes from Sorry, it, it actually comes from the, the herbalist. So we had one high spirit person, which will be great for for the herbalist. Where is she? Uh, hold on. Oh, Luna. No, Luna. Luna's a good trapper. Yeah, Luna's good for trapping. Would have been. Would have made a really good cleric, though. 
Luna would have made a really good cleric. We could always change her. Hold on. Luna, you might be better off serving. Is there anybody else with high spirit? This... No, 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 no. That would... Anybody else that I can make as a trapper? Here we go. A 3-5. Actually, that's okay. Except, ah, it's a 4 there. You know what? I'm going to make Luna. You are actually going to be our herbalist. I... Oh, we need a herbalist staff first. Uh, so, yeah, be a trapper for now. Actually, getting those levels right now is actually really good because you can get some extra hit points and stuff. Now, like I said, we can't actually assign beds. It's not really totally necessary right now because, you know, we're just, you know, it's very institutional right now. Everybody's just kind of sleeping in the same room. <laughs> As they're digging it out, they're like, would you stop digging out the room? <laughs> oh, we have some clay in here already. Really? We dug out clay in the mountain? There must be clay in the mountain. Fantastic. I didn't even know that would happen. <laughs> cool. And here comes some, oh, lots and lots of, lots and lots and lots of uh, metals and stuff, which is great. I think we're going to move the fire pit indoors already. Get that out of the way. Uh-oh. Of course. Oh, no. Okay. Pause, pause, pause. Invaders approaching. Uh, let's see. Where are they coming from? Oh, it's just one little dude. All right, let's get our first warrior ready to go. I kind of figured this might happen fast. We have our swords. We have some swords. Tell me we have swords. Tell me we have swords. Uh, fastest way to tell. Let's see, Elia. Let's change jobs. We don't have swords. Are you kidding me? He's working on swords right now. Okay, well, let's let him finish. I guess, you know, we, we didn't prioritize properly. I knew playing on hard was going to be hard. I didn't know how hard, though. Um, but I've heard, I've heard, you know, on the live streams and stuff, they're talking about how hard it is. And that's good. I like hard. Hard is fantastic. Done. All right. So let's get that sword in the hands of Elia. Elia! Is there somebody else that's actually outside and ready to go here? It's got high body. Here we go. Yui. Now, Elia. Elia and Yui are both inside. So, Elia, grab the sword. Change jobs. You're going to be our first footman. <laughs> and it looks like we've just got one little stone golem coming in who's not going to be that bad, I don't think. Little stone golem. He's just a pebble. He's just tiny. How much damage could he do? Um, <laughs> although, in hard mode, enemies will have more armor and health and will inflict more damage. So, Elia, I need you to come and grab this sword immediately. Let's also move this camp standard back in here too as well. Let's rotate that. Let's put it by the fire inside. It's maybe not safe to have a campfire inside, you know? Um, you know, carbon monoxide or something. I don't know. We should have a de detector or something. <laughs> Everybody's just going to not wake up in the morning. All right. So there we go. Uh, where we go. Uh, Elia, I need you to come get that sword like right now. Um, here he comes. Dude, dude. And so guys won't actually start running now until they get hit. So if they have low spirit, they will actually start running after they get hit. Elia, grab that sword. Now, go, go, go. All right, guys. Elia, come on. No. Fight, fight. There we go. There we go. Now, what we could do, what we could do is we could have other people help here. We could have people join the militia and help out a bit. Um, I think we're going to be okay. Daily update. Yeah, I kind of figured we wouldn't get enough food. We didn't start harvesting that food right away. We do need to get a farmer going immediately too as well. I just needed to get a few other things. We need to get this, these defenses up immediately. So that's high priority. Okay, we have our first warrior in action, ready to go. Perfect. Uh, which means less people actually working, doing other things. But that's okay. So uh, let's get our carpet. Where's our carpenter? Carpenter, I need you to get back and working. Is that him? Heart, Mar Mard Hamont. Uh, I can't wait to get your guys' names in here. Your guys' name is going to be so much, so much, so much better. Um, I, I think this is actually just considered loot. This one is loot. Okay, there we go. Oh, what are you fighting? Okay, good. We, as soon as our carpenter is high enough, he may actually be high enough level already to build that herbalist staff because we need that herbalist is going to be more important sooner than we think. Maybe even getting that second warrior may be more important than we think too. All right, so maybe, you know what? <laughs> we're gonna get our second warrior going immediately uh, because yeah, we are we may have to rotate the shifts of these guys. Okay, so we've got Stefan. Yuli, I need you to change jobs and become a warrior, please. Because we have our second sword. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> and as soon as we're able to, we're going to build that herbalist staff because, of course, we need a healer right away. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, poor, poor Elia is in trouble already. We've got our second warrior. I just, I think we're going to need that. We're going to need them right away. Yep. And so that's unfortunate because that means we're down two people right away. Um, d Did he not grab the sword? Hold on. Uh, yes, Yui, Yui, Yui and Elia are now more warriors, but why is he not carrying a sword? 
Uh, maybe he can, maybe, maybe he's still working? Why is he still working? He should be just patrolling like, like, uh, like Luna, or, uh, what, Luna? Is it Luna? Hold on, hold on. We've got Elia and Yui. Yui is an apprentice footman. Weird. Maybe, maybe until he actually has his first battle, he won't start fighting. That's an interesting, I like that, actually. I like that. If that's the way that that works now, I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, so, now, do we have, we have a few fences where we don't have nearly enough. It's going to take at least 25 to go all the way across here. We might as well, actually, what we might do is move some of these, some of these cacti. Eventually, I think the cacti, we're just going to move them, like, into the, into here. I think that's probably the best choice. Um, you know, maybe this won't be, maybe we'll have, have our eating area in, 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 in where the beds are too as well. I think that might be a better choice and actually have this area just for storage and for food production for now. I also don't know how well these, these cacti will work underground. I mean, maybe they won't work very well at all. I have no idea. Let's get, the, looks like we kind of, we tried to place one on top of each other, on, on top of another one. So whatever, <laughs> nothing new there. All right. Yay. Oh, so cool. All right. Now. So we do have two warriors. Now, maybe maybe she, no, she's still patrolling. I I, I wish, is, is there a way I can tell her to just go rest? I don't think so. That would be a really neat command, um, being able to tell them to just go rest, but I don't think you could do that. Oh, it looks like, oh, you, hey, just a second. We, oh, right, we did build three swords. That's right, we did that on purpose because we thought that the cleric, but that's not true. Now, let's go take a look at, let's take a look. Can we, we can build the herbalist staff right now. So let's get that ready to go too as well. And we can maybe get a workshop built. I don't know how much stuff we can build at the beginning without cloth. So that may be a bit of a problem. And actually what we need to do is we make, we need to make that a higher priority if I didn't know. So yeah, let's put that right up, right, right up at the top. Uh, we do need some flowers for that, but that's okay. We've got all that ready to go to as well. Um, uh, I think we're gonna have to build a ladder up to this one because we placed it on top of the other one by accident. I don't know if they can actually get at that. <laughs> uh, you know, the quirky things with Stonehearth. I mean, it's quirky with Stonehearth, but I'm the one that put put the cactus on top of the other cactus, so. Ah, you can see the sun coming. Sun sun is coming, going down. It's going to be nighttime again, and I bet we're going to get attacked at night because bad things always happen at night. All right. <laughs> Very fun. Oh, this is going to be such a great series. I'm super stoked. You know what we could do right away? Uh, actually, let's let's change your priorities. So we're going to make it so that you're actually building the the main door first. Oh, did you? You already built it. You already built it. Ah, you're wonderful. Oh, you're absolutely wonderful. So we've got the tunnel door. Let's get that into place. Excellent. There we go. We've got our tunnel door already. Woohoo! Oh, that's great. So now when we do the uh, when we do d town defense mode and we get everybody to retreat, of course they will go inside the cavern behind the door, and I don't think the enemies can can bash down the doors yet. I could be wrong. I mean, ah, there we go. Safety. Look at that immediately. Ah, like the dwarves. Do like the dwarves do and find solace under underground. I think it's a great solution to a to a problem, possibly. Uh, did he build that, uh, that, I think he did. Hold on, let's just double check here. Everything's up to, our carpenter is everything right now. No, he hasn't actually built it yet. So what is he doing? What, he's, he's running for more wood? Do we not have, oh man. The, the problem is we don't have enough hands. We don't have enough labor. Now, I also want to see what's wrong with Yui. Why didn't Yui grab his sword? So he is an apprentice footman. Hold on. Yui, where are you? This isn't Yui, is it? Hold on. No, this is... So, oh, maybe, maybe, oh, maybe the footmen, footmen work now. So it's kind of like, you know, the knights, they're... Knights, their profession is being a warrior. Whereas a footman, you're kind of like, you're you're an on-call warrior, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they take turns. Maybe they do stop. They just stop and they do other stuff. So they do patrol. Cool. So they patrol as well as do other stuff now. I love it. That must be an Alpha 16 feature. I really, really, really like that. That way, you know, I feel better about having multiple footmen at the beginning of the game when we only have seven people because that brings us down to five people right away that can't work. If our footmen can actually do some stuff on top of actually, you know, patrolling and being, you know, scary. <laughs> That's absolutely wonderful. So there we go. We're... Oh, uh, see the cactuses? Um, hmm. Did we harvest that? Okay, I need to know that. I need to know that they will still grow in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest the other one. 
like so. And maybe we'll move all of our storage indoors right away too. Otherwise, it's going to be such a pain to move it all later. So let's do that. Uh, and of course, it's going to store everything right away. Oh, we can't. I can't. Okay. So until... Oh, see, we should have built this in sections. So I can't actually put a zone inside of an underground area until... They're actually done building it all. It actually will not let me. So if we'd have built it in sections, in other words, if we'd have come in here and just built this one room, then I could have put down this, and then I would have gone and built this one, and then I could have done, yeah. So, but we can't actually put zones inside of, inside of an underground area until they're actually done building. Interesting, good to know, good to know. I think I knew that already, but it's been a while. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay, just one second. Right, one more really important thing that we have to get our carpenter to build immediately is our farmer's hoe. Because if we don't get some farm, some some farm, if we don't get some food growing immediately, we're gonna be in huge trouble as well. So yeah, he's gonna build that one piece of fence. We've got the herbalist staff. Should we get a herbalist going right away? I mean, I think, I think, I don't know, I don't, will the, her I think the herb, yeah, you know what, we probably should get people healing right away, but yeah, look at all of, yeah. people are, you know, our professions are filling up very quickly here, so we've got a 435, this would make a pretty good, uh, right, no, I, no, who is going to be our herbalist, right, Luna was going to be our herbalist, so let's change jobs, you, madam, are going to be our herbalist. Sorry, Luna. Not sorry at all, because Luna, I think you're going to be much better. You've got five body and six spirit. Perfect for a future cleric, too, as well. And then we've got <laughs> Jebediah. Jebediah would make a pretty good trapper. And actually, John. John, you will make an excellent trapper. So let's change you to being our trapper. Um, that way, we, we do have food coming in, so it's not a huge panic to get farming, but I, you know what, I just feel, I would feel a lot more comfortable get, getting somebody working the farms. I mean, I wonder, maybe someday we could have actually, you know, have animals underground too as well. That would be super cool. Like, have a little herd of animals under in, in, in little rooms and stuff, just like Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress, you could do sort of the same kinds of things too, depending on the types of animals. That was really cool. Uh, well, maybe, could you? I don't remember. So I know in Nomoria, you actually have to have your animals on a little uh, field. I don't remember with Dwarf Fortress. I it's been, I played so many of these types of games. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that, I think, would, I think there's no reason why we can't have a herd underground in this game. I think we just build a little area and we have a little shepherd and away we go, right? <laughs> as long as we have uh, the food to feed them. And that's going to be the trick, right? And I think we need to build, uh, I think we need to build farms to grow certain types of food to feed our animals too as well. So that's a good reason to get a farmer going right away too. So we've got our hoe. Um, I don't know, should we... Yeah, I think I think we're gonna call it an episode. This is a great start for us. Great start for Forkspire, our underground kingdom, our dwarvish kingdom, <laughs> dwarvish hearthlings. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed episode one of Stone Hearth. Get your names into me soon as possible so I can get on to the next episode. So I'm not gonna produce the next episode until I've got a nice chunk of names. So we'll give it a few days and then uh, we'll see you then. All right, guys, take care.